Come on in. Steph. How are you? How's it going? You got a little bit of a cold. The voice is a little deeper than yeah. normal. The so. cold weather is getting everybody, I bet. Absolutely. You want to take a seat? Yeah, have a seat. Thank Relax. you so much. Love the haircut. Thanks. You too. Loving it. See, we're on some, on some twin status over here. Absolutely. I love it. So, you know, the first time we met was at UCF. The second yeah. time we met was at Starbucks, and on the third Small time, world, isn't it? same haircuts. I'm now we're here. Again, absolutely, so. <laughs> absolutely. You having a good day so far? I am. I am digging yeah. out after the uh, China trip, but uh, yeah. I'm doing really, really well. Thanks. Did you enjoy it? Was the it was unbelievable? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, the only challenge was obviously the flight over there was twenty some hours, but it was an unbelievable experience. Great from a cultural standpoint, but also from a work standpoint. Yeah, I heard the flight is is um, like tremendously rigoring on the body. It, it just takes it really a toll is. on you after a while. It is, absolutely. Well, I'm glad you're back. I'm well, glad thanks. you made it safe and sound. I hope yeah, the jet lag's not bad. You know, Stephanie, over the phone, you mentioned you had about 15 minutes. Is that still holding That's all I have. Time? Yeah, I've got to get into some other customer meetings. So I'll be as respectful of your time as I can. Appreciate be. it. And just to let you know, the purpose of today's meeting is to really uncover what Kyle was so interested about that you told him that made him want to set up this meeting with us today. Yeah, absolutely. So what did you tell Kyle to want to make this meeting happen? Well, you know, I think it's the, the frustration that you saw on my face. You know, it's kind of like that right time, right place. You know, a lot of the things that I do that Kyle does that I experienced in China, you know, it's interesting no matter where I go, it's the same issue, which is the challenge that we have entering data into our system and you know we're we're obviously so concerned about people having access to the personal information that we have that when we leave that office over there on Elm Street everything is shut down so the work that I do that you saw me doing in terms of entering time card data is necessary I can't get paid I can't build a customer um, you know unless I get that information in sure so that's the big challenge I have is you know how do we deal with the security issues because I get it from your yeah. tech but at the same time, what can we do to increase productivity? And you said you had an idea. Yeah, I like so, ideas. So the goal of today's meeting is strictly to do that. Okay. It's to help you relieve that frustration, bring you back that happiness that comes with working with Aerotech. Because your job should be fun and it should be exciting coming to work. Absolutely. So I'm going to make sure we're going to touch on how we can relieve, relieve that frustration, make you happy. But how we're also going to be able to secure that private information that you said you didn't want anybody else having access to. Sounds good Does to that me. sound like a good idea? Sounds like a plan. Do you mind if I take some notes? Oh, feel free. I'll do the same thing. Appreciate that. So moving forward, is there anybody else who should be in the meetings coming along with Kyle? You know, I, I thought about that. You know, I think Kyle is probably the best person, you know, I, I don't know how we would make a decision regarding any sort of a IT application, but you know, Kyle's been doing this for quite some time. He'll probably be the best counsel. My recommendation is, is keep it, you know, simple. Certainly at my level, you know, sure. I, 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 uh, I'm great at sales and I'm great at building relationships, but this technology curve, you know, I'm hitting a brick wall sometimes. Yeah. So it's it's not just you, it's me. Even though I work in the industry, I I'll bet. sometimes it gets a little difficult. And just to understand a little bit more, what are some of the top two decision making criteria that Allegis and Aerotech look for when creating that new partnership with a company? Well, I'm glad you mentioned Allegis. You know, we we're obviously a global company. You know, we are one of the largest staffing companies in the world. And I know we like to do business with reputable companies. That's going to be number one. We're, we don't deal with fly-by-nights. And, you know, I know in the technology field, I read about it every day. There's a company here today, they're gone mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yep. So we love to partner with industry leaders. I think that's going to be number one. And I think, you know, number two is going to have to come down to ease of use. There, it would make no sense for us to implement something new in terms of a new process or technology without it being easy to use. 100%. I completely understand that. And I'm going to make sure I touch on exactly how Citrix can touch in all of those areas. Okay. But to gain a, a better understanding, you're saying you're currently facing a frustration with the way you're currently doing things. And it's my understanding that you're not able to work from outside the office. Is that correct? That's correct. I, I, if, I, if I do, what you saw me doing was entering information. I either have to go drive back to the office or on my own time email something to the office staff for them to enter the information into our system. How much, how, like, how happy are you with the way that you're currently doing things? Well, not not real happy, obviously. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I manage, you know, a book of business here in South Florida, and the traffic can be absolutely crazy. Um, you know, to get back to the office could be an hour, hour and a half out of my out of my day. 
Um, and so I try to be real smart with how I use my time. It's certainly not the best part of my job, that's for sure. And so um, I'm going to make sure we're going to touch on how to make you happier in that sense. But just establish some more relevant facts. Are you still the senior recruiter? I am. You're still the senior recruiter? I am, absolutely. And in Beijing, how many rec- employees are you planning on integrating into that new office? Well, the big project that we have, we think that we're pretty staffed, and we've got five recruiters uh, assigned to this one customer. But but certainly there's going to be even more opportunities that are out there. So we touched a little bit about your mobility and how you're unable to work from outside the office. Now let's talk about... Um, Let's, let's talk about, you mentioned that the data, the data security. Tell me a little bit more about what you mean by data security. Yeah, concern. yeah. All, all I know is that, you know, the, the primarily what I'm hiring are obviously construction workers. Mm-hmm. The norm is for them to get paid on a weekly basis. So what I need to be able to do is understand from a, their time cards how many hours that they worked, uh, make sure that I validate that, mm-hmm. um, and make sure I know where they work so that I can enter that information into our system so that we can build a customer. Once we build that customer, uh, obviously that in, uh, reimbursement happens and then I get paid uh, my sales commissions. Okay. So it's a cycle. If I don't get it in on time, we can't build a customer. If it's wrong, the customer is going to hold, hold back payment. And, and it's not good too because I also have the credibility with mm-hmm. the people that I'm recruiting. You know, they, they want to get paid. They expect to get paid on every, every single Friday. So if for some reason it's delayed or it's not right, then they're not going to want to come work for me. And I've built, you know, I've built a reputation on making sure that I take care of the various carpenters and sure. electricians. I've got Everybody really strong industry. relationships with the unions as well Yeah, as part of that. I can understand completely. And so with these time cards, about how many hours do you say you spend on a weekly basis? I bet you, Omar, I probably spend four to five hours a week. Four to five hours a week? Yep, yeah, without a doubt. Strictly on time cards? Absolutely. So in a given month, let's on average, you're spending about 20 hours in a month strictly doing time cards alone. Half a week. Half Absolutely. a week. Or let's look at it this way. You're spending 240 hours in a year doing yeah. time cards alone. That's not your job. Your job is recruiting. That's exactly right. So let me ask There's not just that, Omar. You know, yeah. Here's the other thing. There's times when I'm in front of a customer yeah. and they, have, they might have a small project mm-hmm. and they might need you know eight carpenters for mm-hmm. a project. I can't even access my database of resumes because I'm not tied in to our system. Oh my gosh. So, you know, I could tell them that I have candidates, but mm-hmm. until I actually show them the resumes and the capabilities, they're not going to want to staff yeah. with me. And I'm sure that that really limits your credibility because you it can't does. show the proof well, of who you're bringing. Whole, it slows the process down. I got to oh go back goodness. to the office. I got to email them the resumes and it just slows me down. I could close probably so, one or two extra sales a week if I had access week. to it. Wow. And with with those clothes, I mean, if you don't mind me asking, how much commission do you make on each clothes? Now, with those smaller deals, it's, it could be another hundred fifty to two hundred bucks. Okay. Um, if I if I delay a commission or a delay those time cards, that could be five hundred to a thousand dollars. So not only could I put my existing portfolio at risk, I'm losing money one hundred fifty mm-hmm. to maybe two hundred bucks a week by maybe being able to close one extra deal a week. So in a week, you're missing four. So in a given year, you're basically missing out on 48 recruits. And, Probably. And to your point, on the plus side, if that recruit is worth $1,000 in commission for you, you're missing out on an extra $4,800. Without a doubt. Without, Without a doubt. doubt. You're missing out on a lot of money. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure we touch on exactly how we're going to put that money back in your pocket. Okay. Because I'm sure you can use do so much more with that extra money and really make it to that Cancun trip, which is the sales incentive for this year. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so... Just to, co- just to make sure we um, do a quick summary, I know we've talked about a lot today, yep. Steph. You mentioned that you're currently unhappy with the mobility factor, the way that you're doing things right now. The fact that you're not able to work from outside the office really limits you at the moment. Right. You're also mentioning that the data security, you don't want your data falling into the wrong hands. And that's a valid concern of yours. Many of my other customers have previously felt the same way. Okay. Is there anything else that might be a top of mind of concern for you today? Well, I think what I mentioned to you, being able to access that database, you know, being able to really pull up uh, data as quickly as possible and you know I know you know in China and some of these remote parts of China not having you know the access to the internet is a challenge they're driving back to do a lot of their administrative work as well so being able to work offline and then being able to come into the office yeah you know to sync up would be fantastic sure thing. well the good news Stephanie Steph I'm sorry the good news Steph for you today is I'm not only going to tell you how we're going to bring that money back and that mobility and that security, but I'm going to show you how we can do that. Okay. 
Sounds good. And the way I'm, the product and the recommendation the solution I'm going to bring to you today is Citrix Zen Desktop. Okay. Now, you mentioned you want to work with a reputable company and a company that is an industry leader. Well, the benefit to you of working with Citrix is that we have been the market leader for the past 25 years. Okay. And what this means for you is that you're working with a tried and tested company that is the market player. We actually created the industry for virtual desktop infrastructure. Are you okay. familiar with that term? No, that blows me away. That's way over my head. Sure. So the way I like to relate it to people is that we look at VDI as Netflix. Are you familiar with Netflix at all? Sure. So the way you access Netflix on the phone, you're tapping into those movies, and those movies are being streamed from a server onto your device. It's okay. the same way with Citrix, except you're replacing the movies with your work content and applications. Okay. So you'll be able to work from anywhere, at any time, on any device, securely. Okay. And what that means for you is there's going to be zero interruptions in your day. All right. Now, you also mentioned that you, the company has to be an industry leader, but reputable. We're currently partnered with 100% of the Fortune 100 companies, and I've done the liberty of listing here the nine of the major partners in China yep. that are currently using Citrix, as well as several other staffing agencies like Tech, Par Tech Systems and Cavalera, which are some of your other main competitors. Okay. And Tech Systems actually works with Allegis, so they can be a testament to how great we let them do their business moving forward. Okay, interesting. So you also mentioned that the, the mobility is a big feature, is a big hindrance to you in accessibility. Yeah. And one of the benefits of working with Citrix is that we allow you to work both online and offline. So on that okay. flight to Beijing, which you mentioned was 20 plus hours, right. instead of watching How I Met Your Mother reruns yeah. back to back to back, right. you could be doing all that work and saving yourself that time. So when you do get to Beijing, simply connect to the internet, have your files be uploaded, and you're good to go. That's perfect. Do you yeah, see how that could be of a benefit? Yeah, to you? there was a huge project that I was working on for Kyle. It would make a lot more sense to do it that way. So. And I'm sure. I'm sure all, Kyle, you said has the same responsibilities as you. I'm sure he could really take advantage of this system, where it's going to allow him to be more mobile and increase that security as well. Absolutely. Now, you also mentioned the security of your data. One of the benefits of Citrix is that we offer two-step verification. Are you familiar with that term? Steve? I'm not, no. So what two-step verification is, is when you log in, it's going to ask you a security question. might ask you for a fingerprint or just to retype an additional password. Gotcha. Um, most, most of our okay. customers use our fingerprint sensor like they would on an iPhone. Okay. And that makes sure that nobody has access to their information. Making That's those good. files extremely secure. That's good to know. That'll, that'll interest Kyle and I know... You know, Kyle has a business partner in IT that supports his initiatives. I'm sure that'll be really important to him. So you can definitely see how that could be of a benefit to you moving forward. Absolutely. And last but not least, you want to make sure it's, it's an ease of use system. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'll be happy to let you know that many of my other customers, I have a list of testimonials here of my customers who have mentioned that their experience with Citrix, they notice zero difference in the native experience. The way Citrix works is that we replicate what your computer looks like from work on any device. So there's not going to be any difference in the way you're handling business. It's just going to be another day in the office for your employees moving forward. That's critical. Do you see Thank how you. that could benefit you moving forward? Absolutely. Steph, I don't see why we can't be moving this meeting forward. Kyle. I think um, based off everything you've told me, we definitely meet the, need, meet the needs that Kyle is looking for and that you would be looking for to help you expand your business in Beijing yeah. and help make your life a lot easier and reduce that frustration so much. Yeah, it really looks like you guys make sense. Let me ask you a question because sure. you know, you're a salesperson. I obviously am as well, but yeah. I keep thinking about how big you guys are and I know how much of a challenge it is to find IT people. Do you guys have like a, a diversity hiring program in place at all where you are you know, looking for unique individuals that sure. have that IT background that um, you might need? Sure. If, if I'm understanding your concern is that you're, look, you're concerned that we can't provide, that if we can provide the necessary people to make your workplace diverse but also increase the security. Well, I actually am looking at it from a sales standpoint. I just want to know if there's somebody on your team that I can talk to around in, in sure. HR because sure. we have a whole IT division mm -hmm. and that's one of our specialties. My, my field of expertise is in the construction trade, but I've got a business partner that all she does is focus on sure IT thing. personnel. Yeah. So if you can give so, me the name yeah. of somebody in HR, that would be I great. I definitely can. I have a list of my references here, and I'll be sure to leave you with that today. Okay. But we do have a 24-hour support team available for you at all times of the day. Okay. And Steph, I know we're coming up close in those 15 minutes. Sure. So how do you say to moving forward with that meeting with Kyle? Well, I think what I'll do is if you can leave me with some information, sure. what I'll do is I'm with Kyle on Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Sure thing. Uh, we have our one-on-one -on -one every Friday back in the office. Yeah. I'll make sure that I talk to him sure. but just about what you guys do. A tentative invite for next Wednesday just so we can have something set in stone for now. I can, next Wednesday can, at 10? Yeah, you could do that. That's fine. I just sure I'll thing. have to confirm it up. Sure, and I'll make sure to call you the night before, or the day before, just to make sure everything's in accordance. Okay. Anything else I should bring to that meeting, Steph? No. So you want to do next Wednesday at ten a.m. At ten a.m. Okay. How much time do you think you need? Fifteen minutes as well. Okay.
Steph, we'll I think up. Kyle's going to be so happy bringing this to his attention. I hope so. I think you're going to be so happy. Thanks, Omar. Mark. No I appreciate problem. it. Good job. All right. How'd you right do? on the mark. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Huh? Right <laughs> Talk about speed selling. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. That's good, man. Good for you. Good for you. You at UCF, then, huh? UCF, yes, yeah. sir. Now that is, I'm, I'm kind of new to Florida. I know I've heard of UCF. Well, welcome. Are you guys the Black Knights? Right? We are. We are the Knights. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's is us. it the Black Knights or the Knights? I think we're just Knights. I mean, okay. our, our